Okay, so this equation for acceleration and for a rigid body that's rotating about a fixed point can be looked at as having two components, the angular component, theta, and the radial component. Okay? So graphically, you can draw it this way, a r and then a theta. Okay? So the total acceleration, okay, the magnitude of the total acceleration is this right here. Okay? And uh, you can find this angle right here. Right? So the magnitude of this then is a theta squared plus a r squared. Okay? And then the direction of this a total acceleration is whatever this theta might be then. Okay? So now that we have velocity and acceleration defined, and particularly um, we looked at the angular acceleration and velocity and, and the relations between the angular and linear. Now we can begin to look at the analysis procedure okay, for a rigid body. Uh, let's look at the velocity first okay, for angular uh, motion. Okay. The big concept here is for rigid body motion, you can split that into pure translation plus pure rotation. Okay. Graphically, look at this. We have a rigid body, uh, like a box, okay? That's maybe an eraser like this. So this eraser okay, experiences this rigid body motion that is from here to here, okay? So it's moving in space, but also trans rotating at the same time, right? So moving and rotating. So this motion right here, okay, it's called rigid body motion, it can be split into two things. Pure translation from here to here, which is this right here, plus pure rotation about a fixed point. Okay? Let's say I'm going to pick the bottom point, so plus this. Okay? So this motion equals this plus this. Okay? So rigid body motion equals pure translation plus pure rotation about a fixed point. Okay. Before we get into the the actual procedure, we need to look at this relative motion. Okay. Now this applies to this pure rotation. Okay. This for pure rotation, okay, we're looking at this pure rotation right here. The rotation okay, of this point okay, about this, this fixed point right here, okay, in reality, okay, this point is not fixed. Okay, in reality, this point, the bottom point, is actually moving. Okay, just that in this pure rotation component, okay, we have fixed it in space, okay, and then just look at the effect of um, the rotation. Okay. So the rotation of this, this point right here about this point is actually a relative okay, motion. Okay. So the, uh, the rotation of this point relative to this point right here at the bottom. Okay. So we need to look at the relative motion. Now let's look at two points. These two points could represent this point, any point on this end, and then point B, any point on the other end. Okay? So, so these two points could be on a rigid body or, or not. Okay? It doesn't matter. Okay? This point A can be going in this direction. Point B can be going in different directions, in any direction. Okay? They're vectors. Okay? Now, this, okay, let's make it more general. Let's make this going this way. Okay. This 
is the relative velocity. Okay, let's read velocity of B relative to A. So B slash A means velocity of B relative to A. Okay, so velocity of B relative to point A equals velocity of B minus velocity of A. Okay, this is the vector equation. So rearrange, so velocity of B equals velocity of A plus the relative velocity. Okay, so we use this okay, to apply for this fixed rotation. Okay. All right. Now let's look at a simple example to illustrate the solution procedure for a rigid body velocity. Let's look at something called mechanism. Mechanism. Now mechanism is a kind of structure that consists of two or more rigid bodies connected to each other. For example, you have a link like this and then attached to another rigid body and then the third rigid body. And this could be fixed point and then this and another fixed point. Okay? So you have three rigid bodies. Okay? And call this A, B, C, and point D. So A, B is rotating about point A because it's fixed in space. Rigid body C, D is also rotating about the fixed point D. Rigid body B, C, however, is moving okay, in a general rigid body motion. That is, it can have translation and rotation at the same time. Okay? So neither point B nor point C is fixed in space. Okay? So, let's say this first rigid body, AB, is rotating about point A this way. Okay? So we're going to call it omega. Omega for rigid body AB. Okay? Angular velocity of AB. Given this, I want to find omega BC and omega CD. Okay? So this is a very typical kind of uh, rigid body velocity kind of problem. And okay? you're given uh, velocity, angular velocity, you have to find the rest of the angular velocity. Okay. So the solution procedure okay, basically okay, we're gonna use this right here. The rigid body motion, okay? equals pure translation plus pure rotation. So, the first thing you do is step one, you draw something called kinematic diagram. Okay? Draw a kinematic diagram for the length of interest. Now, here the length of interest, in particular, is the length that has general bridge body motion, which is link BC. Okay. Now, link AB is it's given. Okay. You know this given quantity. Right. You know how it's rotating, how fast it's rotating. So AB is known. B, C, and C, D is the unknown, but B, C in particular is the one of special interest because it is general rigid body motion. So, I'm going to draw B, C, okay, this way. Draw the link B, C, okay. This represents this left hand side of this equation right here, which is the general rigid body motion equals translation, okay, draw another link, plus and draw another link, rotation. So BC, BC. 
So draw three diagrams okay, of the same length BC. So the same length three times. Okay. So this is rigid body motion. This is translation and this is rotation. Okay? So next